I've been in agriculture all my life. I'm 46 years old. This is I'll be the third generation on this farm. My father, he's 84, and he inherited from his family and his father and put it all together what we have today. We've got uh, roughly about 850 acres of our own, and then we rent some more and that gets us up around 1,100 acres total. We have uh, about 175, 176 brood cows. Um, we're a cow-calf operation, mainly for to ship the feeder calves out. We grow corn, barley, uh, wheat, orchard grass, fescue, and clover. We've been using uh, Nutrisphere for the last, this will be our second spring. Um, last year we saw great results, not only in our first cutting of uh, grass hay, but in our second cutting as well until the rains quit. We had a lot faster regrowth and uh, a lot thicker. And you know, for the few dollars that we see that it takes to add to the fertilizer bill, we think it's well worth it. Nutrisphere being added to it, it looks like it, it kind of extends the life of the nitrogen a little bit more. Um, instead of having to worry about when I spread my, crop, my nitrogen out on my fields, we're going to have to worry about the evaporation. Um, it stays and it, and it actually lasts longer. A veil, we've used that. This will be our second season on some of the crops with that and we're seeing a lot better uh, root systems underneath it, especially when we used it in the corn. It was a sturdier, stronger plant. Um, we're excited to see it in our orchard grass stands. They look like they're coming through the winter a lot stronger, a lot more tillers, a lot more regrowth there. So we're excited to have a, a crop there. Last year we used it, and with the avail and the Nutrisphere together, we took and went from six rolls of five and a half by five rolls of hay to eight rolls, which gave us about an, approximately another ton of feed to the acre. And that's pretty big for us. With a veil, I've seen the benefits that I have a stronger, healthier plant through the droughts. Um, we were losing our orchard grass here in the previous two droughts because of stress to the roots where we put the veil on that it had a stronger root system and a larger root system, so it was more tolerant to the drought situations that we had in July, August, and September. And it, and it came out of the summer dormancy and, and went to work because it had some of the nutrisphere and some of the phosphorus was still there for it to take up and, and, and go once we started getting some fall rains. So I could really see a big difference in my orchard grass crop this past fall versus previous falls. If I was going to talk to another grower about using the Avail and the Nutrisphere product, I would say that in my results I was seeing getting a ton more forage of hay per acre and that's huge. I mean that's whether or not you have to go buy hay to feed your livestock through the winter with or whether you are successful enough to make your own. And to me, it's a no-brainer. Um, for the few dollars that the two products cost, you can't buy the tonnage of hay that it'll make you in, in the season if you have the rains to make that fertilizer work. I won't put any fertilizer down without it ever again. There's a lot of things that you can do to save money, but I don't think that they're all together um, good for the land. This doesn't have any after effects to what's going to happen to your land. Your nitrogen, your phosphorus, and your P and K is all going to be there and that's that's pretty much natural. I'd say that they're two good products to be, that people should be looking at if they're going to be serious about doing farm work.